good day my grade 8 ka students so for this video i will teach you human digestive system fraction and its organ i'm robin and let's get started in human digestion we have two distinct the physical and chemical digestion so what are the difference physical digestion physical digestion is the mechanical breakdown of food into smaller particles chemical digestion chemical digestion is the breakdown of complex molecules such as proteins starch and fats contained in a food into small and the simple soluble molecule the differences is while mechanical digestion involves physical movements such as chewing and muscle contractions chemical digestion use enzymes to break down food the digestive system is made of gastronal tract also called as the GI tract or the digestive tract in the liver pancreas and gut bladder the GI tract is a series of hollow organs joining a long twisting tube from the mouth to the anus the hollow organs that make up the GI tract are the mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and anus the liver pancreas and gut bladder are the solid organs of the digestive system the small intestine has three parts the first part is called the dendiodunum the dendiodunum is in the middle and the ileum is at the end the large intestine includes the appendix cecium colon and rectum the appendix is a finger-shaped pouch attached to the cecium the cecium is the first part of the large intestine the, the colon is the next the rectum is the end of the large intestine Bacteria in your GI tract, also called the flora or microbiome, help with the digestion. Parts of the nervous and circulatory NIH externally system also help. Working together, nerves, hormones, bacteria, blood, and the organs of the digestive system digest the food and liquids you eat or drink each day. Why suggest digestion are important? The digestion is important because your body needs nutrients from the food and drink to work properly and stay healthy. Proteins, fat, carbohydrates, vitamin NIH external link, minerals NIH external link, and water are nutrients. Your digestive system breaks nutrients into parts small enough to your body to absorb and use energy, growth, and cell repair. Protein break into amino acids, fats break into fatty acid and glycerol. Carbohydrates break into simple sugar. How does my digestion system work? Each part of the digestive system work helps to remove food and liquid through your GI tract. Break food and liquid into smaller parts or both. Once food are broken into small enough parts, your body can absorb and remove the nutrients to where they are needed, your large intestine absorb water, and waste product of digestion becomes stool, nerves and hormones become help, control, and digestive process. The digestive process, organ, mouth, the movement is chewing. Organ, esophagus, movement, peristalsis. Organ, stomach, movement, upper muscles in the stomach that has to let food enter and lower muscle mixes food with digestive juice. Organ, small intestine, movement, peri peristalsis. Organ, pancreas, movement, none. Liver, none. Large intestine, peristalsis. How does food mature my GI tract? Food moves to our GI tract by a process called peristalsis. The large hollow organ of GI tract contains a layer of muscle that enables their walls to move the movement, pushes food and liquid through your GI tract, and mixes the contents with each organ, the muscle behind the food contract, and squeezes the food forward when the muscle in front of the food relaxes to allow food move. We have part we have major parts of the digestive system. First is mouth. Food starts to move through the GI tract. When eat, when you swallow, your together pushes the food into your throat. A small flap of tissue called the esophagus epiglottis falls over when pipe 
to prevent choking and food passes into your esophagus. Number two is esophagus. Once you begin swallowing, the process becomes automatic. Your brain signals the muscle of the esophagus and peristalsis begins. Lower esophagus sphincter. When food reaches the end of the esophagus, a ring-like muscle called the lower esophagus sphincter relaxes and lets food passes into your stomach. This puncture usually stays close to keep what's in your stomach from flowing back into your esophagus. Stomach. After food enters the stomach, the stomach must mix the food and liquid with the digestive juices. The stomach slowly appetizes. It contains cold chyme, inter-small intestine. The small intestine. The muscle of the small intestine mix food with digestive juices from the pancreas, liver, and intestine and push the mixture forward for further digestion. The walls of small intestine absorb water and digested nutrients into your bloodstream. Upper stalsis continue the waste product of the digestive process move into large intestine. Large intestine waste products from the digestive process include ingested parts of food, fluid, and other cells from the lining of your GI tract. The large intestine absorb water changes for the waste from liquid into stool. Bristalsis help move the stool into your rectum. Rectum, the lower end of the large intestine. The rectum stores stool until it pushes stool out of your anus during bowel movement. How does my digestive system break food into small parts my body can use? As food moves through your GI tract, your digestive organs break the food into smaller parts using motions such as chewing, squeezing, and mixing. Digestive juices such as stomach, acid, bile, bile and, and enzymes. Enzyme. Mouth. Digestive process starts in mouth when two your salivary glands make saliva. A digestive juice which moistens food, it moves more easily through your esophagus. In your stomach, saliva also have enzymes that begins to break down starches in your food. Esophagus. Are you swallow peristalsis pushes the food down your esophagus into your stomach? Stomach. Stomach. Glands in your stomach lining make stomach acid enzymes that break down food. Muzzle of your stomach mix the food with these digestive juices. Pancreas. Your pancreas make a digestive juice that have enzymes that break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins that pancreas delivers and digestive juice into small intestine through your small tubes called ducts. Liver. Your liver makes a digestive juice called the bile that helps digest fats and some vitamins, bile ducts, carry bile from your liver to your gallbladder for storage or to other small intestine for use. Gallbladder. Your gallbladder stores bile between meals. When you eat, your gallbladder squeezes bile through the bile ducts into your small intestine. The small intestine, your small intestine digest juice which mixes with bile and pancreas juice to complete the breakdown of proteins carbohydrates, and fats. Bacteria in small intestine make some of enzymes. You need to digest carbohydrates. Your small intestine moves water from your bloodstream into your GR tract. To help break down food, your small intestine also absorbs water with other nutrients. Large intestine. In your large intestine, more water moves from your GR tract into your bloodstream. Bacteria in your large intestine help break down remaining nutrients and make vitamin K. Waste product of digest digestion, including parts of food that are still too large, becomes stool. How does my body control the digestive process? Your hormones and nerves work together to help control the digestive process. Signals flow within your GI tract and back the forth from your GI tract to your brain. Hormones Cells lining your stomach and small intestine make and release hormones that control how your digestive system works. These hormones tell your body when to make digestive juices and send signals to your brain that you're hungry or full. 
your pancreas also make hormones that are important for digestion. Nerves. You have nerves that connect your central nervous system for your brain and spinal cord to your digestive system and control some digestive functions. For example, when you see or smell food, your brain sends a signal that causes your salivary glands to make your mouth water to prepare to eat. You also have to enter nervous system, ENS, nerves within the walls of GI tract. When a food stretches the walls of GI tract, the nerves of incense release many different substances that speed up or delay the movement of food and production digestive juices. The nerves signal, send signals to control the action of your gut muscles to contract and relax to push food to your intestines. So we will go to body system. The digestive system biggest role is to process the food that we eat and get the pass through the circulatory system, through the blood, and the nutrient that the digestive system gets will the distributed by circulatory system to its blood in various parts of the body to have nourishment of the body. And the respiratory system's main function is to process the oxygen to remove carbon dioxide from our body. The cells need oxygen to release the energy stored in food molecules such as glucose. The process is needed to have what we call circulation. And the external system's main role is to remove the waste, waste product products of, of our, our body. body. So basically, this is how this body system interact with each other. And that's the end of our video. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye!